This is Hale Billy here with uh, Rockstar's League Radio. I'm talking to Jason Hook of Five Finger Death Punch. How you doing today? I'm good. Is that video now? Uh, no, that's just uh, still camera. Yep. Still Verification camera. that we actually sat together <laughs> and did this. Interview. Yeah, we do it up on upload on the you know YouTube, whatever, like pictures, sure, sure. stuff like that. So, uh, well, so how's the Trespass America tour going for y'all? God, I've answered this question a lot. Yeah. <laughs> My God. Yeah. I'm so far, so good. You know, we had a great. Uh, Opening night in Denver, sold out show, and uh, you know, we like to have fun, so there really isn't any complaints other than the weather's been a little hot. Oh, yeah, Africa hot. Oh, Africa hot, well, yeah. We were in Texas, and then where were we? <laughs> Texas and uh, <laughs> Texas and uh, Nashville, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, popsicle. Popsicle. all right, cool. Noel, would you like right. a popsicle? No. <laughs> So what can uh, fans, uh, in terms of a live show of Five Finger Death Punch on this tour? Sorry, what again? What can, uh, how can you describe your well, show? It's a very high-energy, testosterone-driven, um, entertainingly angry show. Uh, it's a very bright show. We have a lot of lights up and a lot of video stuff. And uh, we're just basically, uh, you know, at the risk of sounding cliche, we like to have fun and we know that we want people that come to have fun so cool. so cool. far so good it's been really fun cool yeah. now after trespass uh trespass america tour wraps up where are y'all gonna go from there well i think that i just found out today that we have we go from uh, the last show in los angeles to uh, alaska mm -hmm. play one show in alaska and then that's the end of the tour oh. right. um then we're gonna start working on record number four. Oh. Cool. Awesome. Uh, that's what I was, what I was going to ask if there was the number four coming up. Yeah. So uh, for your songs on, how's your wrong writing song well, process to go? We, you know, we have a little studio with us. Everyone kind of knows that already. Mm -hmm. We um, we like to try to prepare as much as possible because you know when you get off the road, there's either like you take time to write or you can take time to like start recording. So we're trying to get some of the writing done and trying to come up with things at least have some stuff to pick from you know right now is there a song that maybe y'all got that maybe you feel more closer to than others new stuff uh, any new stuff or any other songs that you um we're playing coming down now which is the, the new single mm -hmm. and that's kind of a cool thing to be playing live it's a little different for us it starts off with a kind of a moody swampy thing right yeah i did see uh the video for that so how did that concept come about it was a great video um <laughs> well <clears throat> Ivan writes the lyrics and that was kind of the storyline and then uh, that turned into um, you know they want to make a video we don't want to be in the video right because we're off so they were like well let's not be in the video let's make the video just like a little movie mm -hmm. and then the movie well you know based on the storyline and the lyrics we thought well let's make it about that subject and then at the end we'll just put like a little 800 uh, helpline at the end and then everyone goes oh my god you know yeah so. now I've done a little research on you because I'm a guitar player and all that so um, what age did you start playing oh god <laughs> I was six six yeah so at that age did you ever think looking back that where you are now you right. was going to be where you are oh yeah absolutely mm -hmm. Cool. So, um, as a guitar player, you covered an entire spectrum of music, like with Hillary Duff and uh, Alice Cooper. Now you're full time with Five Finger Death, uh, Death Punch. How did that happen? Well, um, how'd that happen? Mm -hmm. I've, you know, I've always sort of been a heavy rock, heavy metal guitar player. I just, um, I just didn't want to uh, work for a living, so I just came, basically someone says, "I'll pay you to play," and I just right. would go play. Right. But this is kind of where I always thought I would land, so I, mm -hmm. I think I got lucky. Oh, cool. Now, uh, what's your inspirations as a guitarist? Girls. <laughs> Girls? <laughs> like musical influence, uh, oh. influences. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, musical? Well, I mean, I, I, I kind of grew up listening to uh, Richie Blackmore, Ace Freely, Eddie Van Halen, that kind of stuff. Those oh. guys. Now, what's the biggest challenges to overcome as a artist and as a musician, a toy man? What's some of the challenges? Um, sobriety, I guess. 
yeah. Yeah, well, because, well, man, we took a solid attempt at being that the fuck up musician, and that's just too hard. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. So, you know, we, we sobriety is one of the challenges. The other challenge is, um, you know, for the first time you have to, re you're really in business. So there's a lot to learn in a very short period of time. You know, it's kind of like a burst of like things are really, numbers get big and you have to know how to uh, protect yourself. Yeah. You know, plus, you know, and you also have to learn money management, personal spending control. Yeah. So uh, tell us, uh, how was it like winning the Best Instrumental Award in 2007 with the LA Music Awards? Well, how was it? Um, yeah, how was it? How did it feel? It felt validating, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. the, uh, <clears throat> it felt validating. I mean, the uh, I'm surprised that you know that, actually. It's kind of like old history. Absolutely. I mean, the LA Music Awards is kind of a s very small thing, you know? It's not like freaking Grammys or anything like that mm -hmm. but um, you know well, what can I say anytime you anytime you beat other people out or win something that's kind of validating you know mm -hmm. now I've read where you was like a session player mm -hmm. and all that so what's the different you know like how does it feel from going session to actually being in a touring band now well <clears throat> I don't know if I really like the session thing you know mm -hmm. it's like you are paid to deliver somebody else's vision right so essentially you're just <clears throat> you know um, a utility mm -hmm. and that can be frustrating when you know somebody's paying you to remove your brain from the equation they just yeah. they want to communicate to your fingers and so it's kind of like you know a lot of long hours and sometimes it was lucrative and sometimes it wasn't you know so right, right. so uh on Rockstar's Glow, we support like unsigned bands and mm -hmm. so forth. Uh, can you give any of them advice that, that hasn't been signed there, or even y younger musicians just now starting? Well, I really believe that um, location increases your chances. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I'm from Canada. I'm Canadian, oh. and I just I just knew that being in Canada was a hell of a hurdle to try to break in anywhere so I knew I had to get out of Canada and I moved to LA which is you know mm -hmm. a great hot spot for opportunity right. so and if you know you kind of have to leave the comfort of home and right. put yourself in the right spot and then aside from that just make sure you're whatever you're doing do it better than everybody else so far, uh, since you've been in a touring band and been all through the years, what's the one of the craziest moments ever you've seen, like on the road or uh, live playing that live? Craziest moments? Um, touring with Noel. She's so back there. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> she's like, fuck you. <laughs> uh, so. But yeah, um, I just want to say thanks, you know, giving us an interview and all that. I got one more question. I'll let you go on. I know you're on time schedule and all. But what does music mean to you? Well, I used the girl line already, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? To be honest, it, um, it means to to be happy because mm -hmm. I've worked a lot of regular jobs, and the real world is hard. Right. It's tough. You know, I've done every crappy job. And so, you know, when you think you have a real problem because you didn't get the bunk you wanted on the bus or you're upset because they put mayo on your uh, sandwich. I mean, these are not real problems. We, we have it pretty easy. I, I'm, mm. I always remember that, you know, be careful what you wish for. Mm. It's a very easy and enjoyable lifestyle as long as you keep yourself, you know, in check. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I just want to say thank you so much, and I appreciate you talking to me. Thank you. What's up? This is Jason Hook from Five Finger Death Punch. You're listening to Rock Stars Glued. Keep it metal.
other way But I couldn't turn around It's okay for you to hate me For all the things I've done I've made a few mistakes But I'm not the only one Step away from the ledge I'm coming down I could never be what you want me to You pull me under to save Step away from the land I'm coming